Or in Luke cries, what we're going to work on next year on the channel. Yeah! Towards what will be, uh, towards the next workshop content here at Luke Rides. Cool. cool. It'll be quite interesting about the Ducati Super Naked, even though the sexy green beast is behind the background. We are sexy. We are sexy. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually going to do some content here at Luke Rides. Learn what that content's going to be and how it will be useful to you. To if you're also considering the last of the air cooled Super Naked. Which is going to be awesome. Let's hit the intro and let's go out for a ride. Or a drive on this occasion. Yeah, you didn't expect that one for Luke Rides, did you? Away! <laughs> <laughs> hit the intro. It's showtime. <laughs> Luke Rides, Luke Rides is back on four wheels again! Oh my god, they killed Kenny! Luke Rides is not sure whether to keep the channel called Luke Rides because it seems to be four wheels at the moment! Are you serious? But hello everyone at Luke Rides, Luke Rides hopes that you're well and staying safe while we drive or ride on the... Bloody hell, it is a 30 limit dude. What the f***? You just went way over that. You fucking prick. Okay. It's fucking mental, isn't it? The thing is, Luke Rides, the thing is, he was in a 30 limit. So he was only just coming into a national speed limit. So you can't just, like, overtake like that out of a 30 unless you're literally a prick. You fucking prick. And you're just a prick. So that Mercedes driver is a bit of a prick because he's only thinking about himself and not anybody else. Which is like, oh my god, what a dickity dick dick. Somebody put me back in the fridge. Uh, but maybe he'll say, I'm in an important business meeting, I need to be somewhere. Well, the thing is, dude, is we all feel like we need to be somewhere. And, you know, it is just unnecessary god to do damn that. Right. Not in a 30 limit, you know, when you're coming to a 30 limit and then it's just like, it's a 30 limit, dude. We're only just coming into a national speed limit. He's an asshole! But hello everyone, Luke Kreitz. Luke Kreitz also has some exciting news for you because at the moment, now we want to spend some time here at Luke Kreitz on what is a very important subject. We're just going to wait for this bus to kind of get out of the way and then maybe we might have a gap. Luke Kreitz, not sure. He's can you give us Luke Rides a bit of space? Yeah, okay. They just about can, so that's good. Let me come back in. Beautiful. Oh, the power is two turbochargers and six cylinders. Wow, oh, it's quite a boom. Power! It's quite a boom here at Luke Rides. Fucking hell, we are just accelerating. Christ almighty. You don't even think about it in the BMW, you just accelerate. Educational video, and then I will uh, discuss more. BMW distance should be adopted when lesser vehicles driven by poor fellows impede one's progress. When in doubt, BMW driver, remember the following official BMW slogan. If you can't smell his chuff, then you're not close enough. But, uh, we're at a new price, we're gonna spend a bit more time now. Uh, a bit more time now on the Ducati Monster Super Naked. You're a BMW driver. All of us are BMW drivers, superior beings, okay? We're actually going to spend some more time on that absolute insanity. That is the Ducati Super Naked, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So we're going to spend some time on this now. And what we're going to look at are actually things like general maintenance of the last, the air called Super Naked here at Luke Ride. So what we're going to look at at Luke Ride is uh, we're going to be looking at oil um, or it's going to be looking at the oil filter change because uh, what Luke Wright has seen on the likes of YouTube and the internet is that it's not fantastic that um, some of the videos are just the angles are weird and and some things that they're missing about the washers and Luke Wright is going to correct all that fuckery and all that wrongness on YouTube with proper videos for Luke Rye, uh, for the Ducati Super Naked. 
So we're going to work on now um, the oil change of the Ducati Super Naked. How do you do that on the last of the air-cooled machines? Because it is not quite like other Super Nakeds where there is just a drain bolt. Um, instead, Ducati have used more, more torques um, around that Super Naked engine, that X, what was an X Superbike engine, um, which is quite interesting. But it means is that unfortunately the torque bolts are, look really similar to each other and it's not very, very clear where the drain plug actually is um, on the Ducati Super Naked. Uh, it probably is kind of similar to, if Ducati still kept the same style, probably might be the same problem on the uh, 1200 as well, the 1200 Super Naked, um, but there's only one way to find out. And so we're going to focus on oil, and then we're actually going to focus on the oil filter, um, and then we'll be looking at making a separate moto vlog um, of, uh, of thingies, of, uh, of thingy thingies. But Luke Rides really wants to do kind of a dedicated, the fact that here at Luke Rides, after all these years that we just achieved, uh, by kids you not know, everyone at Luke Rides, we just achieved a whopping great big 100 moto vlogs, 100 episodes here at the channel. Oh my god, there's been a meme up on the screen! It is an epic moment to reach such a number, you know, and Luke Rides, though, very slowly, we are still, still, still accumulating subscribers. So the channel is still growing very slowly, but it's still growing, which is what we want to see. Oh, let me shit. Uh, yeah, so we are so far doing really good uh, driving and making swift progress. So Luke Wright is really looking forward to bringing you some very interesting content on the Super Naked and will help you if you're considering one of the last of the air cooled Super Nakeds, uh, the last of the air cooled beasts. Uh, which is absolutely great. So Luke Rides wants to keep that handy content going because it is it is quite interesting, um, and also learning the uh, the quirks of working on a, a Ducati um, rather than anything else. So that's quite interesting. But uh, we're going to keep up the content here at Luke Rides. We've got some really interesting motorcycle, and not only that, but club motorcycle content coming up. But we're going to focus on the Ducati Super Naked, uh, the Ducati Super Naked first, and make some really good content on there. And then we've got some huge announcements to make here at Luke Rides. But it's all good. Luke Rides is going to try and keep this content up as best as he can during his daily, daily, daily life, uh, which is just pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, we've got cargo on board, so we're trying to drive nicely. We've got the boom of that, the boom of that straight six twin turbo. By God, when you open her up, it sounds like nothing else. It sounds fucking, it sounds booming because of those six cylinders. So grunty as well. She just sounds grunty because of those six cylinders going up and down, making that Pacific sound resonance, you know, because it's more than four cylinders going up and down and in line as well, which is quite interesting. Well, Luke Rides hopes that you enjoyed the, enjoyed the little bit of content about the uh, Ducati because oil and oil filter change on the Ducati Super Naked is actually not as quite as straightforward as a lot of other Super Naked because of the super lightweight magnesium construction of the Ducati 1100 Evo Super Naked engine and as it was the partnership just as Ducati was bought out and was learning from the Germans and shared Germans sharing a lot of their engineering knowledge but also Audi and Lamborghini electronics to Ducati but that partnership was new so it was the first incarnation and there are certain things that you need to be aware of in order to work on that particular last of the air cooled super naked and Luke rides in a way is going to feel quite sad that we're not going to see many of them anymore because it is not uh, the way forward to generate more power and more torque. Uh, Air-cooled engines have gone as far as they can without blowing themselves up, you know, because the metallurgy can't take any more power and torque. So um, it's quite a different time now that we live in, and although it is getting better, there is something quite beautiful about how lightweight the Ducati Monster 
1100 Evo is and how beautiful it is to ride and how quick and fast and lightweight it is in the corners and how she tackles the corners because of that lightweight aluminium construction magnesium uh, 1100 Evo X superbike engine from the 70s but modernized fuel injection proper valve setup proper modern valve setup model valve modern valve train and the modern technology and engineering that we have today so great stuff thanks for watching everybody it's great and that's it i'll see you on the next episode of the ride <laughs> the way we the little rascal has spirit as well this is the end of the trail for me thank you yeah. thank you kid Gateway to the moors. We love the moors here at Luke Rides. This is favourite stomping ground. <laughs>